How's it going everybody, Ben from Budget Pokemon here, and in this video I have another mail day for you. I'm gonna be unboxing all of these, so without further ado, I guess we'll start with the packages. Let's start with this one. There's a lot of love cards and one booster box in here, so I'm really excited for this. And oh, actually, I don't even need a knife for this one, right? There's like these, these pull tabs, it's like really, really easy to open. So this is a V-Star Universe booster box. Only one. I did say I wanted to buy uh, a few more when they get cheaper, but unfortunately they still are kind of expensive. This is for an upcoming video. Should be the video after this one next week, where I'm gonna be doing a V-Star Universe versus Crown Zenith battle to see which one will give us the better pulls. And this one? I mean, the seal looks, looks fine. It's not straight, it's a bit meandering, like towards the edge right here. Focus on this. The, yeah, there we go. You can see it. It's not completely straight in there. So it's also like a slight fraying, and then down here. Yeah, this this seal seems to be seems to be good. You always have to be careful with these. But I guess I've bought this from a from a reputable reseller, so should be fine. Let's put them right here and open up the next one and see what else is in here. Some of the stuff I've forgotten. Just with the with the um. $1,000 mail day opening. I've forgotten some of the stuff that I've bought. Let's see if I can get this open. This is this is taped shut really securely. Let's see if that was enough to, to give me an opening here. Doesn't seem to be the case. Oh, never mind. I can slightly tear it open. And then I guess this one we just rip away. And here we go. Okay. So this one, I'll actually take away, let me just see that again, okay, so I do have to blur that, that was the address of the seller, don't want to show that. In this envelope here, I think you probably already seen that on the, on the letter, here we go, a graded Mew card, a Mew EX, this is actually super, super cool, so this is a an EX card, or like an, an, um, an excellent quality, I mean. It's not near mint, it's only a PSA 5. I will be cracking this out of the case and put this in my binder because, well, it's only a 5, so there's no point in keeping this slapped up. I'd much rather put it in my binder. Strange thing is, like, this was one of the cheaper options to get on this card, in an excellent quality at least. That was kind of strange, like a graded card being being cheaper than, than raw cards. But let me just see. Okay, so I can see a little ding right, right at the top here. But honestly, I can see two dings. Okay, so that is probably why this is an, an excellent copy card. Other than that, I mean, there's a few scratches on the hollow foil. But other than that, it looks looks pretty good. I mean, the back looks looks also pretty good. There's a bit of whitening here. And here in the corner, but yeah, I think it's only really these two that put them that put them down. Maybe maybe up this corner. I'll have to crack it open and actually see. I might record a shorts on how to crack these open, but we'll see. Let's put them right here first, the Mew card, and move on with the with the last package, and then we can we can see what's in those letters. Okay, really happy to own that Mew. Now that completes my my Mew page. Actually, no, it doesn't. I'm still missing one Mew card, which is also a Mew a EX card, but that is from the Black and White Legendary Treasures set. If I remember correctly, it's like a really, really cool looking Mew EX. I might put it on the screen right here. If I remember to do that in editing, okay. Oh, this is taped down as well. So let's just take our knife, try to get this out. Thankfully, this is sharp enough. I did sharpen this recently, so that is pretty good. So another little envelope here. This should be another graded card. Yes, okay, so this once again, a PSA graded card. It's Eevee on the ball. And next letter I'm going to open, you're going to see why. I... I will probably crack this out of the case as well, because I plan to send this into CGC. This is only a PSA 9, but I'm hoping to get a CGC 9.5 out of this. 
from cracking it, because it's only really off-centered a tiny bit. If I just see. Yeah, it's just, it's really just off-centered a little bit. But this is pretty cool. So these are on the ball promos. If you remember, I did a, a post a while ago. I, I have this one already. So I got this in a promotion with game last year. There was like a promotion. Game is like this, this store in the UK. And there was a promotion where you could actually get these. These were quite expensive before the promotion. These were going for like 200 euros a piece. But now since the promotion has passed, these are like, what, 30 euros or 20? Still pretty expensive for a single card. But this is pretty cool. And in, in this letter, let me just, where do I put this? Let's put this right here. And in this letter, this is from the UK as well. Um, these, these, sh this should contain the other three on the ball promos, which is actually really cool. I really like those promos. So let's try. I can cut this open. This is, this is not working very well, is it? Let's see. Okay. So the cards are there, so I can safely cut there. I have to be careful to not like cut the cards. Because that would be pretty bad. Okay. Ah, here we go. Ah, these are still still sealed, it seems. Very nice. Very, very nice. So that is all that is in this. This is kind of interesting. Like a plastic card holder or something. I've seen these before. I've had one of these in like normal size when I bought a Charizard V from Japan. This is pretty cool. So yeah, this is also the shop I bought them from, off Card Market, but this is the name of the shop. Um, I suppose. Playscape Games. Got here pretty quickly. And just a few... Card savers, and here are the promos. They are still in the... In the plastic, so they are still sealed. But here we go. We have, of course, the... Let me just zoom in. We have, of course, the Score Bunny, we have the Groki, and we have the Sobble. So these are all game promos, I'm pretty sure. Just any promos. Hmm, doesn't say. On the Pikachu, it actually says game promo if you have a seal. Hang on. Okay, so I just checked my sealed copy of this card, and I, I could have sworn it said game promo on the back, but it really doesn't. So I suppose I was wrong. It does say, it does say copyright 2022. So that's an indication that, that this is newer than this one, because this one says 2020, which was the, the original time window for these promos. So this is a, a reprint Pikachu that I still have sealed. Probably will keep it sealed. This one I'll send in for grading. But that is... that's kind of interesting. Okay. Yeah, so this is... this is pretty cool. So these ones will all go to grading, and this one I'll probably crack and send to grading over to CGC as well. This is... this is pretty, pretty cool. Okay, let me just put them somewhere where the light doesn't glare, like maybe here, and then put the Pikachu over here again. All right, nice. I finally have all the the futsal promos, the on the ball promos. Okay, let's open this letter up. That seems to have worked. Very very good. Okay. Oh, here we go. Zara Aura V. This is kind of. Kind of strange, this card. This has gotten pretty expensive. Oh, hang on. Yeah, I have to put them, like, all the way... All the way there. So the light doesn't glare. So this promo has got... Or this promo, this alternate art of the Zera Aura... Has gotten stupidly expensive. I... I remember looking at it, like, a while ago. And it was sitting at, like, 50 or 60. And now it's, like... Like, easily... Easily over 100. And, well... As per usual, it is off-centered, but even this off-centered version is was quite expensive, I do have to admit. But other than that, it's just off-centered. The quality in itself is is immaculate. Funny enough, the back centering is like looks looks to be perfect. That is that's just, that's such a cruel joke. And then the front is like, oh wait. It's not perfect at all. It's still pretty cool. I mean, to be fair though. The only centering that's really off is, like, in this direction. I thought for a second that the top and bottom was off, but those actually seem to be pretty good. So yeah, it's literally just this one. Seems to be something on the card, maybe? Hmm, I don't know. But this is one of my, my favorite alternate arts. 
the Zero Aura V. This is super cool. He can't put that there. So we'll put it right here, I guess. All right. Only have a few, few letters left right here. And I do have to remember that... Okay, here we go. These are our Crown Zenith cards. And oh, actually, one Crown Zenith card. I've talked about it in my... Um, what should we call it? In my... I've talked about it in my Snow Hazard opening. I, I couldn't remember the, the set for a second there. So I've bought the Irida, which will go great together. I've pulled the Adamon. Like, probably, if I remember correctly, at the beginning of Crown Zenith, like the first set I've opened, or maybe the second one, I've pulled Adamon. And I've pu I've bought the Irida, just to know to complete the, the duo. So this will look great in my binder. Really like that I have this. And I've bought this one. The Guard of War EX from from Scarlet and Violet. Let me just try to get these out so we can get a better look at this. So the Irida is actually really, really nice. Check this one out. This looks super cool. I mean, in, J in Japanese, it looks even better because of the texture. But, I mean, come on. This is super cool. I already have this in Japanese, but, you know, it can't hurt to have multiple of those. Already have the other one as well and bought another copy. But anyways, let's put the Irida right here. And let's see the God of War. So this is a bit off-centered when well, I say a bit. The bottom lip is kind of huge, if you will. But other than that, I mean, this card is so gorgeous. And God of War is one of my favorite Pokemon. I have so many favorite Pokemon that are just Gen 3 Pokemon. For example, Flygon is among there. I mean, if Flygon gets an EX card, like an illustration special rare, I would flip out. That would be amazing if Flygon got, got one of these. Okay, we have only have two letters left. That was over as quickly as it started, I, I think. So let's try to rip this open. This is like tape shut. So, let's just try to rip this open and take take the card out. And, see, this is one of the cards that I don't even remember what this is. Like, this is one of the things that I don't even remember. This is taped very securely. I do want to cut with my knife, but I also want to be careful to not cut into the cards that are lying on the table. Because that would be kind of bad. So what is this again? I've completely forgotten. There's a few extra cards in here. Let's see, Reggie Draco, there's a... Wait, there's like football cards in here. I mean, I mean, this is like for for secure, for for like, um, to not bend the cards. Why did he use football cards? Is there any player that I recognize? Not really. There's... No, there's really not a player that I recognize. I mean, I don't... I don't watch football. I don't... I don't follow the scene and everything, but there's like not a single player here that I'd recognize. So let's see, let's make this like a surprise to me as well. And see what this is. So what is this again? Oh, that's correct, the Espion V. My first Evolution alternate art. The first Evolution alternate art. I think this is, this is also maybe one of the cheapest Evolution alternate arts. Remember correctly, maybe the Sylveon V is cheaper than this? Or the Leafeon, but yeah. This is pretty cool. This is this is illustrated by Soso. And you know I, I love Soso as an artist. Super, super well done. Nice. It will look a bit empty in my binder. I only have the um the Flareon and Joltic. Or not Joltic. The um, Jolteon, the Flareon, and the Vaporeon as the evolutions, and that's about it. And I've only gotten these because of the, like, promo boxes. This is like the first evolution um, alternate art that is not from a promo box that I have. I do plan on owning all of them at some point, but, you know, they are pretty expensive. I'm really hoping for an Evolving Skies reprint, to be honest. But maybe that's just wishful thinking. Probably won't happen. Okay, so... Ah, here we go, okay. So another Crown Zenith card. See, I've completely forgotten about this. Let's just... Let's put the card down so I don't cut into it. And... 
Okay, let's cut this carefully right here. Maybe I need my exacto knife. Hang on. I do not wish to damage the card. If I slip and damage the card, that would be kind of bad. So let me try to do this with my exacto knife. Struggling. It's really struggling. I used some strong tape here. There we go. I think we're through. Yes. Okay. Here's the Pikachu. I've opened so much Krell and Zenith. Never pulled this card. But this is super cool. I've bought this for my Pikachu page in my binder. And this is gonna look great. This is such a cool card. It's even better in Japanese. But this in itself is still super cool to finally own the card. I mean, I'm all about the artwork in itself. I mean, yes, I know the texture and everything looks way better in Japanese. But come on, man. This is still so cool, right? Well, but anyways, this is my... this was my mail day. As I've said, it was over as quickly as it has started. But... I've bought some really, really cool products. We'll, we'll see what we can pull out of this box right here when we do the... the, um, the V-Star Universe vs. Crown Zenith pack battle in the next next week's video but other than that thank you so much for watching if you enjoyed this video then give it a like if you didn't enjoy it then by all means give it a dislike and tell me in the comments below what you didn't like so i can try to fix that for future videos other than that thank you so much for watching peace peace